Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Claudia. Today I'm doing the review on the Louis Vuitton Odeon MM in the monogram. So it's in the monogram with the black. Uh, it's a bag that I went back and forth about buying. I actually saw this bag back in uh, the fall of 2020 and I thought about getting it. I was a little torn. It does come in the PM and the MM. I decided to go with the MM because it's more aligned with the size that I like to wear. I did watch quite a few videos before I purchased this one to see if the MM would be the ideal size for me. And again, for me, this is a perfect size. It's not too large and it's definitely not too small. So I wanna go ahead and just show you some of the features the bag has. It does have this luggage tag here with the Louis Vuitton charm. And I wouldn't really call it a luggage tag because it doesn't come off, it's not removable, but it's really cute. I think it's a really cute feature and it does make the bag just pop because of this little feature here. It does also have the reinforced sides here. The corners do have the leather, the black leather reinforced corners. So I do think that's a really nice feature. So it does, I think it may protect the bag. On the back, it does have the Louis Vuitton here. So there is, I mean, you can't really see it because it's black, but here you could see the Louis Vuitton logo there. It does come with a black removable strap. The strap does have seven holes. So you can adjust it, you know, the, with these seven holes. Um, all the hardware is gold. It comes with this zipper, the two zipper pulls here, which I think are really nice. In my opinion, a very nice feature, but really nice zipper pulls. It's, it's nice, it's a nice feature because it's easy to open and close the bag. Uh, it also comes with this outside pocket and it also does have a magnetic uh, feature there. So I do like to put my phone and certain things in the front, but I'll show you that in a few, in a few moments. Um, I am going to be doing what fits in my bag and also some model shots for you. So stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, so that's the front. The inside you can't really see it because it's so black and it's just more of a fabric. It's not microfiber, it's more of a, just a standard uh, fabric material, but it's so dark you can't see anything. There is a, a pouch here, just one little pocket, one little pocket, no zipper, and it, you know, really nice size. Um, what other features do I want to show you? I do want to show you the side view here. This is what it looks like from the side. So it, it, in my opinion, it is really pretty. This is the back. And then this is the bottom of the bag. And it does come with this black strap. I did do a video um, recently on the monogram, uh, the bandolier strap with this bag. And I think it looks really nice with that as well. So you can look at my channel and look for that uh, strap. I do have the strap back here, but I do wanna show you just a comparison of what this bag looks like next to the Graceful PM, just to give you a perspective on size. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, so you can see here, this is the Graceful PM, and you can see it's a little bit wider. It's about the same height, but wider, and the Odeon is definitely just not as wide. It's a little bit smaller, but again, I mean, you can see the size-wise. I mean, you're, if you're looking for a larger bag, um, you know, between these two, of course, the Graceful PM is a little bit larger, but again, when you look at the size, you can see how much thinner the Odeon is compared to the graceful. So I just wanted to show you that in case you were also wondering as far as how big this bag is, this gives you a good perspective of how big it is. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show you what fits in the bag. And then after that, I'll do some model shots and then we'll be done. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you what fits in the bag. So I do have this toiletry 15 that I put in here and I tend to put it in vertical only because the bag's a little bit you know, taller. I do have the Emily wallet, the rectal verso, key pouch, my sunglasses, my actual masks that I travel with nowadays, we have to travel with masks. So the inside pocket, I really like that area for my masks. On the outside pocket, for me, for easy access, I really enjoy putting my phone in here or my key. It's just easier for me to keep that right in the front where I have easy access. But you can see I have it full now with everything that I use, and it really didn't change the look of the bag. The bag looks exactly the same. It doesn't look any different. So there you go, it's all full. So now I'll go ahead and do some model shots and then we'll be done. 
So this is what the bag looks like on. I'm 5'4", about 130 pounds, and you can see it's definitely a really nice size. It's not small, but in my opinion, it's not too large. You can see it doesn't look too thick or too wide. The bag's not super bulky. It tends to be a little bit more on the thinner side. So I do want to show you what it looks like from the front. And right now I'm wearing it at the longest uh, drop. I can uh, show you what this looks like with the shortest drop. Now this is the shortest drop. And it's not super short. I mean, if you're looking for a really short strap, you're probably going to have to uh, get a different strap because yeah, this strap's definitely not super short. I tend, if I'm wearing it as a shoulder, I do like to have my bag more in like this area if I'm doing a shoulder bag. And this is really the shortest that you can, that you can go with this bag. But it's still nice and you know, I'll show you what it looks like as a crossbody. And this is with me wearing it at the shortest length. So in my opinion, I think it's really cute. Again, if you're looking for a shorter strap, you may want to invest and maybe get the, uh, the adjustable bandolier. Well, that's it. Um, I am going to be doing a video on the Louis Vuitton microchips. I know it's something that a lot of people are talking about because Louis Vuitton is no longer putting date codes in the bag. So I do have some really helpful information. If you're deciding to buy the new, newer bags and you're concerned about the microchip, I am going to be doing a video on that. So stay tuned to that. And thanks again for visiting my channel and I hope to see you next time.